Hi and welcome to another video from the market outlook. In today's video, we'll be looking at the overall health of the stock market and we'll be using technical analysis to focus in on S&P 500 and look at the price action to identify good buying opportunities or also look at where price action will take us to in the coming trading days. So first up, if you look at S&P 500, we have here the daily time frame. So essentially what we're seeing right now is if you zoom in to the past few days, price action has broken past previous high, previous resistance zone, and it's closing very nicely above the resistance zone. So this previous resistance zone is now our newly formed support, and we will look for further retests towards this support zone to look for good buying opportunities. If you look at the RSI here, you can see there's a sharp increase in RSI. So with this sharp increase, you can say that there's higher momentum coming into the stock market to bring prices higher. So to further break it down, we look at the hourly time frame. And when we look at the hourly time frame, we can see the break of the previous resistance much clearer and the price action that happens after the break of the resistance. So if you look at the hourly time frame, you can see that this resistance is very crucial as it has been rejected once, twice, and in this period it has been trying to break through and when it finally did, there was a retest in this support zone and a further continuation to the upside. So this is very important to look at and zoom in because when we see this retest, you can see a very big green bullish candle forming which is overshadowing the previous red candles that we're retesting this zone, showing that there's a very good bullish price action signal and that there's a higher probability for prices to move further up in the future. Next, when we look at the RSI, you can see the RSI is very comfortably above the 50 level, except for this period over here. And you see a higher lows in the RSI being formed on the 4 time timeframe. So from the 4 time timeframe, you can really see a lot more details on how price action is continuing higher and how there's a retest of the newly formed support zone. So support zone is holding very well, so is the RSI. And if you see the yellow line, which is the TDI line, it is a 50-day lagging indicator. Essentially, it is still holding up pretty well above the 50 level, showing that indicators and price action shows a confluence of buying signals. So right now for S&P 500, it's still considered quite bullish and it's looking in a good spot to be continuing to the upside. Of course, what are the risks for S&P 500? There's a lot of inflation fears. There's a camp where they're looking at inflation and they're saying that inflation is here to stay. And that would negatively impact the stock market prices because inflation would typically increase the cost of doing business for companies. So there's also another camp that says that inflation is only temporary. They're seeing this because of the pent up demand from the pandemic lockdown. Inflation will slowly come down after the pent up demand is used. As of now, we can look at the technical analysis and then look at it and say, hey, you know what? Right now, prices are going higher. Inflation fears might be overdone. And from this chart, we can infer that we are still very bullish on the stock market. So that's my quick technical analysis for the stock market and S&P 500. If you do have any questions, do feel free to leave a comment below. Or if you like this video, do remember to give a like and subscribe to the channel. Helps out a ton. And I'll see you in the next one.